All right, let's do this. So what you're looking at on the screen right now is a video. This is a video, all right? It's running in the background, okay? So the very first thing that you want to do, this is my Mad VR 2019 review, how to set it up, how to make it look good, blah, blah, blah. I keep getting people asking me to do another one, so here you go. First thing you want to do, run the video that you watch or the videos that you watch. When you're running them, do control shift exit, okay? Hold those in unison. What you want to look at is your GPU, all right? This GPU re readout here, if you don't see it, you can right click to get GPU. What you're seeing right here is the real time amount of the GPU and CPU that you're using at any given moment of time, okay? While you are running a video in the background. If you wanna keep this open, by the way, you can do always on top. And um, once you do that, you can actually view how hard it is to run a video with your GPU or your graphics card or so on and so forth. What this does is it will give you some sort of perspective on how much GPU horsepower you're using okay right now it's it's using quite a bit but um this is still a video in the background by the way this is a way to check if any of the settings that I'm about to tell you work or do not for your computer if you if your if your video is slow if it's glitchy if it has issues and you don't know what it is do this you literally run task manager in the background while you, while you are watching a video with mad vr on to see what is happening okay so now let's open up mad vr let's see what's going on boys so here i've got mad vr open let's close this out just a bit okay so mad vr the reason why I wanted to show a video in the background is to kind of give you a good idea um, when it comes to text because text is really is really the most important aspect of video come on stop there we go so the reason why I wanted to do this is this is a 1080p video it's it is in 30 frames per second it's running at 900 not no 9,000 kilobits per second or whatever it's a rather high quality video so what you're seeing is almost lossless um, in terms of quality in the background this is the real thing okay so first off let's start off with the basics whenever you get mad VR and you open it up go to artifact removal now these are the most important things there's also another important thing image up uh, upscaling everything that i do here will update in real time whether or not the video in the background is moving or not so let's do let's turn on all of the ones that i use normally so these are all of the things that i normally turn on you can check them you can use them reduced banding <sighs> reduced ringing artifacts that's ringing around images reduced compression artifacts that that basically takes out all of the um, all of the uh, sharp edges of the video once you do that you can also enable luma sampling luma sharpening the reason why you don't want to go to high or very high here is that it will punch your gpu in the face okay let me show, show you what happens when i do that so it's using 85% of my GPU just by turning that on very high. Some of these settings you should not turn to very high, okay? Just leave it at medium or leave it at low. That's very fine, okay? It's going to be tailored towards your computer here, okay? So, uh, Chroma upscaling, I found that Cubic Soft Cubic. Uh, gives me the best quality uh, for videos that don't look high quality so if you have a lower quality video this will 
be very important for you because you will see um, chroma in like animation on people's faces if, if you watch anime or if you watch just basic videos like you'll see the difference in this when you click it on lower quality videos now on higher quality videos you won't even see the effects of upscaling but downscaling would be like if I was watching a 4k video with mad VR if I was watching a 4k video with a 1080p monitor it would have to downscale itself to run on my 1080p screen okay so that means that you don't want the image to be sharpened, you want the image to be blurred to make it look okay on your monitor, okay? I keep getting a lot of people saying, oh, I'm running 4K and it's super slow and this video fucking blows dick, okay? That has nothing to do with me, that has to do with your computer is too weak to run 4K video with the settings that I have optimized, which you, you really should go up here and check to make sure that your computer can run these settings okay the reason why I did the task manager thing in the very beginning because this is this will ultimately tell you whether you can run something or you cannot run something so image upscaling this is the cream of the crop okay this is some of the stuff here if you hit this the image in the background is blurred so if you go to very high the image in the background is still blurred Go to medium, blurred. I found that if you're running 1080p and higher videos, you might as well go to NGU standard because your videos will be sharper and kind of blurred. So if you're running 1080p videos and you're doing editing, you might not want to use anti-aliasing. Uh, anti-aliasing is good for things like anime if you watch that sort of stuff. But NGU standard is what I I now recommend to people to do. Um, you want to always super sample, okay? Uh, Jink, this is just it makes it look a little bit better if you put it on the highest one. This is for down sampling. Yet again, you gotta you gotta blur it out a little bit. So do that. And yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. Oh, there's actually some more stuff here. Okay, so general settings, you can use, you want to use DirectX 11. Okay, that's the newest thing that they've got in here. You want to present every frame with a V-Sync. It's important that you do that so your videos don't have a lot of tearing. Um, I don't use smooth motion anymore because it just destroys my GPU for some reason. Um, dithering, you want to do error di uh, diffusion option 1. You want to turn off all of the performance bullshit and now let's run the video in the background and let me show you how much GPU usage that you, this uses. So this is a 1080 vi 1080p video at 30 frames per second and it's running at 9,000 kilobits per second. That's pretty high quality of a video. A lot of DVDs, Blu-ray video, it, it's not really going to get too high up into that kind of strat stratosphere. Not too much, but um, you can see I'm sitting comfortably around 55, 60%. So, like I said, if you turn one setting on very high, you're just going to cripple your GPU, okay? Don't do that. Don't do that. And the same thing applies for your CPU. Turn off settings and make sure that your CPU is happy uh, and make sure that your GPU is also happy. So, you need to make both happy. And I hope this video helped you a little bit with your Mad VR settings. I know it's kind of ghetto, and I know it was kind of last minute, but somebody, somebody in the comments was just like, "Dude, I need an update, bro." Okay, well, th this is all the settings. Th this is what I've done since then, and and um, yeah, you can like, dislike, you can do whatever you want. I'm just, I'm really sick today. I really shouldn't have uh, made this video, but hopefully you liked it. Tell me that my voice sounds like shit. Tell me that all this other stuff. I don't really care, but hopefully you got something out of this video, and thank you for watching.